Hello and welcome back to our jobskillshare.org Spiceworks Administrator and today we are going to work on inventory. Basically what it is we are going to set up our first scanning so then we can find devices in our network. So let's go ahead and get to our machines as you guys can see we have a domain controller here Windows 10 box which is not on a domain controller meaning this is not managed. So this could be one of your lab computers that are not on domain controller okay on this one so Windows 7 is on domain controller it is ma being managed so and this is the one that we installed our Spiceworks on so let's go ahead and open that alright so let's fix the the scale mode on this so there you go now okay so let's get started you have three options here in our last video we left it here and mobile management, device discovery, and then you have a help desk uh, configuration. Now you can actually manage all of this from inside once you get into the Spiceworks uh, main page, like a dashboard. So the way you do this, you click on discover my devices. This is the first one. Then it will ask you, what do you want to do? What What do you want to start with? So here, here you go. Uh, we're going to do inventory management, meaning we're trying to look for devices and see what information we're going to find. So then you click on next. Now then you will get this page where you get username and password section. This is where you can do a mistake and I'll show you a quick way to find exactly if your username and password is correct. So the first way is to kind of put your username and password correctly in, as a domain controller you put something in there slash your domain account and then you can also check your account if it's correct by clicking on show. If you have Mac computers you can also put that over here. You, Mac, Unix, Linux, whatever it is, you can put it right there. If you have printers and switches, you will put it right here. Now, this is something we'll discuss later on. This is a little advanced. So we're going to go to inventory. As a such username. Okay, so you do, you have to say, I don't have it here. Let me just put this right here. I don't have it here. Then you click on go to inventory. And now what it will do, it will start um, scanning. Now, this is the most important thing that if your computer... Um, I'm going to cancel this, it's okay. You see right here, as soon as I clicked on inventory, it basically went out and looked for these machines and it found out that there's staff PC, which is the PC that you're using right here, uh, domain controller and other machines. Now you could have issues if your if your machine is set to not for no remote desktop connection. Do not accept any connection and the way to check is that go to properties and this could be one computer that is having an issue and you just go to the properties go to remote settings and then you check the settings for example here you go to remote and if it says do not allow connections to this computer you're gonna have issues you will not see information so that's good I'm just gonna keep it that way so right now if I go to my uh, remote desktop connection and if I go to my Spiceworks so let's go back to our Spiceworks and you click on staff PC right here. You see that it's telling me that it's not even on, but it still looked for information. So even though it says not on, it's still on. To figure this out and to configure this, right now there's no information I'm getting from this machine, but I got the IP address. You go to tools, you go to rescan this, click on that, and this is where you can quickly find out if your password is correct, correct first. So you'll put the password in here. And go to job skill share. Oh, not there. Go to job skill share. Type help this, and then put the password. And then you do scan. So it's saying trying, 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 trying. It will. Okay, it worked. Yep, it worked. We are scanning this device now, but it will still probably fail on a lot of things because it's it's basically looking for this information through this but still a lot of other uh, you know um, ports are not working so what you need to do is to make sure it works correctly we need to go to properties and again go to remote desktop and in in most of the domain controller environment this will be turned on with a secure connection like this one I'm just gonna keep it this one to make it work quickly and then rest of course we're, when we go in details we're going to do it the better way meaning how you are going to be doing it at office so most likely you will be checking this box and then you'll click apply and even though if you check this box you still probably will come across some of the firewall issue 
and to fix that firewall issue then we need to basically you know um, work on a lot of other things like you know ports and stuff like that and spike source have full documentation on that we'll follow uh, some of it to make it better so that's what you do um i just noticed something my okay why well it's not connected so let's go ahead and fix that quickly we're going to go to settings and network and it is on that um i don't know why this is not coming up so let's change that to net and let's go ahead and go to settings again net network apply and okay let's go down still showing that oh there you go got fixed okay that's how you fix if you have any issues with uh like you know connections you can just do it in virtual box that way sometimes it gets a little tricky anyways so we're back here again it's doing a scan right now so another thing you could get stuck on this page even though things are scanning maybe this will go away if you have a good updated computers as you can see i'm using a very old uh, not i mean it's not even up to date so you can just copy this link and that's another troubleshooting step that you can use it in any time if you get stuck in spice or scanning or somewhere you can paste it here and click enter you will see that your spice will, will be scanning uh, it'll, it'll show right here. There you go. So you see the scanning is going on. It gives you the message that we're updating the databases. Now if I click on the staff PC, let's see what information we get. I can already see VirtualBox. There you go. You have more information now and this is how you basically fix that issue if you come across uh, some of that some of the BCs that you're not seeing or things like that. But like I said, you probably have to work on even on your firewall to fix this. Uh, even I did not work on anything it still gave me everything so I can go to software now and do a full inventory on software I can see everything and I can go to basically tools and manage software meaning I can uninstall software from here which is pretty cool right so you see the the power of spice works you can already feel it because things when things works like this you have too much uh, you know um, information in your hand and you can so easily get it now other thing you want to do is that this is how you scan things and this is how probably you fix things quickly but the main part of this video is where do you actually go in inventory systems you go to settings in settings this will be the first section and it's going to be on the left side and it will call inventory there you go inventory and device scanning this is where you remember in the video I talked about you need to know your your network so if you have more IP addresses on second floor third floor maybe second floor is uh, 10.0.1.1 and fourth is 10.0.4.1 3.1 you need to add all of it you'll just need to click on plus and you just need to add it here the same way and if you don't want to scan a server or a switch that you don't want to scan you can put exclusion here or you can even disable the whole network like that so this is how you do uh, inventory and again you can come back here and you can change the passwords if you put it wrong because this is the password that is being used on all the machines but like I said you can go to the actual machine and do it on that the first few minutes ago that I showed you guys you should do it that way so at least it will tell you quickly that is your password correct or not now in the rest videos we are going to go ahead and actually go in de in detail about inventory systems in this video we set up our first inventory and now it's scanning and we're getting the results that's cool so in our next videos we are going to build on this section and keep adding on inventory section and get more advanced videos on this thank you for watching i'll see you guys in a different video